Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. I'm going to walk you through a workflow now that you can use to manage your leads, manage your contracts, and manage your invoices. Not only can you manage the tasks surrounded, these things that need to be done, but you also have dashboards that will easily allow you to view information such as how many contracts you have outstanding, how many contracts have been signed, how many invoices are outstanding, how much revenue you made that month, how much revenue you made this month versus last month, how much revenue you made over the whole year. This is really crucial information for businesses. So let's jump in. First part of this video, I'm just going to explain how this workflow actually works. And for those that are brave enough to actually try and set it up by yourselves in the second half of the video, I'll give you more details into how to set it up. So we're going to start with our CRM. Let's say I just had a call with Jesse Smith and he said that he's interested in moving forward and signing a contract with me. Now, remember, I'm a consultant, so I work on an hourly rate. So if you look on this board, you can see that I have his information. I added in a fake hourly rate. So I have whatever I need to send him a contract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this status to create contracts. Now, what that's going to do is going to actually create a new line item in the contracts board. You'll see that it'll show up and it's going to connect automatically to the CRM board. You can see that just happened. I can double check my information here. When I'm ready to create a contract, I'm just going to hit create contract. Now, what's going to happen is I'm using DocuGen and it's going to create a file here, but it's going to pull information from this board like it's going to pull the contract date, which is automatically set to today. So here's our contract. Let's just open it to make sure you can see the date was pulled in, the hourly price. You can see Jesse's company was fill, pulled in and a whole bunch of information throughout the contract. Now, once he's signed this contract, so I'm going to change this to final signs. Now, if I go back to my CRM board, you can see that he changed actually to in progress because what I wanted the automation to do was when someone signs their contract, they really become a current client. So it you didn't see the whole thing happen because it was really quick, but it goes from signed contract to in progress and then it pushes them to the current clients. Now, once they're a current client, I want to, I need to bill them every month. So if you see the billing here, what happens is that I have billing based on month. So these are the people that I need to bill last month. And now this month, Jesse's a new company, so he's going to come in. Moving forward, you have to duplicate these groups, but for the first time, the information comes in. So he's a new contract. So the way that this board is set up, since I'm working as a consultant, I work as an hourly fee. So for Jesse, let's say it's the end of the month, I would enter in, okay, I worked for 15 hours for him. And you can see that um, it's gonna calculate the hours. Oh, I see that the hourly fee is not pulled in. So let me just connect the column. Probably this one, let's see, yeah, perfect. Okay, so you can see that now that I pulled in the hourly fee, um, that it brought in an hour calcul calculation. If you have a monthly retainer, you can also add that. And this is the total that's owed to me. So here I know how much money I have coming in each month. The amount paid, you also may want to calculate because sometimes what they owe is not actually what they pay, which is problematic. So let's say it's the end of the month and I want to bill Jesse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to generate invoice. And it's the exact same process that we used for the contract with DocuGen, but it's a different document. So what's going to happen is it is going to generate an invoice. You can see the invoices right here. And here it has an invoice number and it has the information that I remember I worked 15 hours. So I owe him, he owes me $15. Now, all that I need to do is send him an email telling him what he owes me. So I can open emails and activities, create email. Again, his email's right here write my email, add the file column from files, and here I can easily send it to him so he gets my bill. Now I wanna show you some of the dashboards that we have to track this information. So let's actually work backwards. So on the billing board, we have a few dashboards. Number one, it's gonna show me monthly revenue. So you can see here that my June monthly revenue was $170 and in July it was 15, because that's all I've entered so far. This is a cutoff mark. Like I wanna know my goal is to reach um, 100. And here you can see I have total revenue, which is tracking all groups and total hours spent, which is obviously tracking total hours spent over all my groups. You can add more dashboards so that way they can be customized based on the information that you want to see. Like you can add um, the same exact dashboard to track quarterly or annually, or you can track how much revenue, let's say, 
for you know per quarter per group there's a lot of things that you can do with these dashboards but this is just a very basic dashboard so over time you can see how your company is doing now if we go to the crm we also have a dashboard here in this dashboard you can see like how many client how many potential clients i have how many current clients i have this is the status of current clients because sometimes my clients have different statuses and here you can see how many new clients i have per month how many by year this is the same number because i just set these boards up for testing but obviously you can see a progression over months or over the years which would be really nice you can see a division of the source of clients you know so 75 percent of my clients come from youtube while 25 percent come from search if you enter in a contract value you can see the contract value from here and new clients by quarter you also could set up um views dashboard sorry on the contracts board so here's an example of like the status of how many dashboards. And if you want to get a little fancy, you can add um, a little bit more information like the value of the contract or the date signs or how many contracts per month. There's a lot of different kinds of dashboards that you can add here. So this is the basic workflow. What this allows you to easily manage your leads, easily set up contracts, easily send out invoices, as well as very, very easily um, track your information, how well your company is doing over time. So for those of you, of you who are brave enough to try this by yourselves, I'm going to go through the steps that I did to set up these boards. As you, we're going to start with the CRM board. You can see that we have different groups, potential client, current clients. The, group, the columns that we have are a status column, so we know the status. The source column, because I want to know where my leads came from. We have a follow-up date, which actually, if you add a date, when the date arrives, it can push an item to the task board to remind you to follow up with the client. We have a sign date, an end date. The end date is really if you want to track the overall contract of how much money you made from this client. An email column, a text column, an hourly rate. This is where if you want a total contract to sign, like how to find out how much all of your contracts over time were and a phone column. Then we have a few connected boards column. The first is connected to the contracts board. And then there's mirror columns that mirror the status and mirror the actual file. And then here you're connected to the billing column. Now to show you the automations that are on this board, we'll start at the bottom. The first is when status changes to in progress, we're going to set sign date to today because remember someone has already signed the client and we're going to move them to current clients. When these are for current leads, when follow up date arrives, we're going to create an item in the task board. When status changes to done and only if it's in current clients, meaning we finish with a client, we're going to move them to past clients. When status changes to lost, we're going to move them to the lost group. When status changes to create contracts, then we're going to connect, create an item in contracts and connect them. Same thing when status changes to in progress, we're going to connect them. And this is one of my favorite automations, which is when the contract status changes, which is a mirror column, then we're going to change the status on this board. This, I actually have a separate video about this if you're interested and you have to look in the automation center. It's not a custom automation that you can build. Now, just in terms of dashboards, so you can see that this is a, um, a chart dashboard and I just set different, um, settings for it. All of these are really ch chart dashboards, except this is a number to pull in contract value. These are all the same thing, new clients by month, by year, and by quarter. Okay. So once we're uh, done with the CRM board, we'll go, sh I'll show you the contracts board. Now the contracts board and the same as the billing board is a little more complicated because it has the DocuGen view. So what you need to do to install that DocuGen view is you need to click on the plus apps and you need to look for DocuGen. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to actually do it again, but you click open in board. Once you do, you're going to see it's going to open a DocuGen view over here. And here's all the um, options for setting up the document. You can choose between a Word or a PDF. You can choose if it goes into the files column. I did that as opposed to having it emailed. Um, and the most important is your document design. So what you need to do is first you need to get a list of placeholders and then you actually add them into your Word document and you upload it here. And you can see this is an example of a placeholder and this is the name of my document. So every time it'll say consulting contract and bring that information in. Once I've set up the settings here, I then need to go to integrate and I set this when status changes to create contract, it's going to create a document. 
Okay, so now let's just look at our automations that when an item is created, set contract date to today because I want that contract date to automatically be pulled into my contract. Now the dashboard here, right now we just have different statuses, but you also could add numbers, like numbers based on different statuses, like how many contracts overall and different things like that. Now I think we're ready to jump into the billing board. So let's just talk about the structure of this board. You can see that we have different groups per month because I do my billing on a monthly basis. If you don't do it on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, I guess annually, you can have different groups. The first column that I have here is the hourly fee, which is pulled in from a connected board column to the CRM over here. These are the rest of the columns that I'm pulling in. And then I have the number of hours worked. So I simply need to enter the hours worked and this number hour calculation multiplies the hourly fee by the hourly by the hours works. If you want to look at the formula, you can see it's a simple multiplication. I also can enter the monthly retainer. This total column pulls in the total. It's a number, it's a formula column. And here, this is a numbers column. If I want to compare what was owed to me versus what was paid. Then we have a files column, which will pull in the invoice from DocuGen. Here we have these connected boards column. This is an auto ID column. So anytime an item is created, it will automatically give it an auto, a number. And the advantage of this is this is the number that I'm going to use in my invoice. So that way each invoice is different. And I don't need to worry about thinking about numbers. So that's the basic setup on the board. Now let's look at, it has this, let's look at DocuGen. It has the same, almost the same exact thing that we set up for the contracts board. You basically, once you set it up, you just need to set the settings. You could decide if you want a Word document or a PDF, how you want it to be delivered here. I want it just to go into my invoices um, column. And if you look at document design, again, you would get a list of placeholders. I highly recommend watching this video. It will give you more detailed instructions on how to use it. You upload your document over here and you can also set your name. So if you see what I did is I, my, the name of each document is going to say monthly invoice, and then it's going to have the invoice column, which is the auto ID. So each one will be numbered differently. So if I ever need to search for an invoice, I have the information here. Now we'll just take a quick look at the dashboard. You can see that I have monthly revenue, so it pulls in based on month. And then I have some other dashboards. These are just number dashboards. If you want to set this line to show, um, to show, let me just see what it's called, the benchmark line. So you just change, click your number. Let's say I just want to change it to 200. So you just change your number. And as you can see, it moves there. Now let's just go into the automations just so you see the automation that is set up here. And this is when hours work changes, set date to today because I need a date to be pulled into the invoices. Now I also have an in, into the invoice, like I want the date. I also have an integration when status changes to generate invoice that I'm gonna generate an invoice. Okay. Just to summarize this solution, as you can see, we have three boards where you can manage your leads, you can manage all your contracts and send them out and you can manage your, your billing, like how much money you have in each month. And you also can automatically send out invoices from the emails and activities app using monday.com. I really hope that this video will help your small or medium sized business get more organized and save time by implementing this solution. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below and don't forget to subscribe so you can get more tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.